Uh, thank you very much for coming to this press conference. I think that um, after 45 years, this is set up for the elderly, 45th anniversary. I think this is um, the uh, recommended cuts are so bad that every day I've been talking to staff to count the number of lives that these cuts uh, will be affected. So this morning, April, who's in charge of all of our uh, San Francisco Senior Center and Senior Programs, minimally, uh, we're right now uh, in Manila Town, which is part of the I Hotel Senior Housing, and both of our projects will be gravely, gravely uh, affected. So while Norman will speak to the affordable housing, I'm going to speak just on the senior services side. Center for the Elderly's nutrition program, uh, under the under the scenario that about 50% of the cut from HHS budget for nutrition program, about 3,000 seniors will be losing their chance of coming to a site like the middle town to get it subsidized and help you. Now you know many of these seniors live in SRO single room uh, that really didn't allow them to cook a nutritious meal every day. So just go back home and just just eat one hot meal a day and see how you feel at the end of the night. And 3,000 seniors will be in that very, very situation every night. In terms of the employment training, which is another draconian cut, right now um, the plan of the GOP's budget, HR1, is to zero out all the employment training program. Zeroed out, not even 50% cut, 60% cut. Right across the street on Jackson Street is a one-stop workforce a career center, which helps all ages of immigrants from youth to older workers to look for jobs. So if all the job programs, all the job training uh, and job placement programs are cut for self-help, about 2,000 of those immigrants will no longer be able to come into an employment place uh, like across the street to get some vocational training and then to get jobs. So what's the alternative? The alternative would be maybe to get on um, welfare, uh, any sort of federal benefit. But if they're not citizen, then they could not even do that. And the naturalization program that a lot of us uh, in this room provide will also be cut tremendously. So with citizenship program cut, employment and training program cut, nutrition program cut, and the housing, uh, which Norman will speak to, and also the block grant that Malcolm speaks to, that all of us receive uh, community development block grant money to renovate senior centers like this one. Also for us is to provide a workforce program for older training in home health aid training and housing counseling. Those, those are our block grant uh, support right now. So I think that the bottom line is if these cuts go through, they will uh, self-help about 6,000 elderly will no longer be receiving the services that they are receiving. We're serving about 30,000 seniors, so that's what, losing one-fifth or more, because it's a rippling effect. Some programs, when you get cut, it's going to affect some other programs that are uh, ancillary. So I don't even want to kind of go there. Amo and I were talking, but every time we talk about it, we get so depressed because it's not just us, it's our staff and all the seniors. So please help us to really push back these cuts. Thank you very much. 我們說有六千個老人家可以接受安老自助處的服務 很多我們老人的服務都會說,一是減了直情取消,一是減大約50%,即是一半的經費會沒了。我們一定要和市參事和各位的社區領袖一定要令到聯邦我們的議員知道這個安全網一定要保留,如果不是真的我們最最最最最